Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Um, now we get a lot of mail um, sent to our um, crackingthecryptic at gmail.com address and we're delighted by that. We, we do love reading it. Um, but I do have to warn people that they can't always expect a reply. We really get a ton of mail and puzzles sent to us and although we're always interested uh, there just isn't the opportunity to solve everybody's puzzles for them, test out all the new puzzles we get sent, try um, try to explain where people have got stuck. But we're always interested and we're always grateful for emails. But I think it's only fair that I give you that warning. But um, we do sometimes, uh, we don't always put up videos quickly when people have sent us things. This puzzle was a classic sent to us by um, a Croatian called Ivica Alapic earlier in the month and um, Ivica apologized for his poor English which I have to say was probably a lot better than my attempt at pronouncing Croatian there so um, don't worry about that at all and he says this puzzle drove him mad um, after a reasonably easy beginning so I'm going to have a go at it. It's just a classic Sudoku and we'll see whether we reach sticking points here as well. Um, you can have a go at the puzzle as well. I've uh, saved it in our software and you can click on it below the video and um, it'll be interesting to see how you get along with it as well. So let's get cracking and see how we do. Um, we've got there are quite a lot of ones i'll come back to them but look those two fives are very useful pointing oops a five there so that's a decent start and look eights there they give us an eight straight away down there um now the fives they're all done in the right hand columns must be five in one of those two Maybe there aren't quite as many helpful fives as I thought. No, not really. Oh, look, two there is working on this box. So we've got a six, four, seven triple in there. And look, we've got all these ones pointing down at spaces in row seven. So those are all ruled out as ones. And it must be there. I think we're going to be able to finish off all the ones in the grid very quickly indeed. So... It is indeed a reasonably early start. Sorry, I should not be using the central notation. Let's get rid of those fives from the middle and put them in the corners instead, which is to the notation we're using to indicate where when we've limited where a digit can be in a box to one to two or three cells. It's good to put that in the corner and then I'll use the center of the cells if we have any instances of um, numbers that the cell is limited to just those two candidates. Our ah, fives in these cells, there's only one place possible, um, which is here because of the five here and the five here. Now these two have to be three and nine and I will put those in the middle. They're not limited by the boxes but by the row now what else have we got three and one of these has to be a two and one of no i was going to say one of these has to be a nine that's not right um eights are limited up here where else can we go nine ah oh, look nine there and nine there those two nines are sorted out by that one so nine is obviously there and that's limiting nine to one of those two cells five two is in one of those two yeah it's clearly slowing down significantly now this puzzle after a, a decent start just as Ivica said um, nine in those two. So one of those two is a nine and this can only be three or nine. That's what I'm trying to show here. Three actually is limited to those two as well. 
Um, what else have we got? Ah, yes, look, this five did work on these two five possibilities. It's going to put a full five here. Let me get rid of that one. Six, four, and, and in fact, seven has to be in the corner because of this seven down here. So seven is one in one of those corners. That five and that five, we may be able to finish off fives completely now, I would have thought. Sorry, that's meant to be a full five. And I think we're all done with fives there. Yeah. Um, interesting. Ah, and this is interesting. Okay, so I think this is possibly the point at which we can consider it's reasonably straightforward to get to this point. But what do you do now? And have a look at column one. Column one and the numbers two and eight. And I'm going to highlight the relevant twos and eights. So the two down in this box mean that these two digits in column one are not two and eight. And these two occurring together in the same row mean that the this one is not two and eight. So where can two and eight be? Only here and here. And that is useful. Now these other three have to be three, four, and seven. And look, we've got a three there and a three there. So we can actually limit three down to just there. The other two have to be four and seven in some order. And that three and that three, they are helpful. That's giving us a three there. Look at that, that is good. Um, one of these is a nine. One, two, nine, three, let's get rid of that nine. Seven has to be in the bottom row there. Um, yeah, that was interesting. Now, is there anything else we can get from what we've just done there? Six, one, five, eight, seven. Two. One of these is a two, but I don't know which one. Two. Oh, one of those is a nine. Ah, oh, yes, look, nine there and nine there, together with nine there, operating on this box, puts a nine over here. And that is useful. That gives us a nine there. And look, this three that we put in here, now it can't, we can't have a three up here. So three must be with the seven in this, these two corners. These two must be a two eight pair. That's giving us four two. We can finish this box and the row. That's now a seven, isn't it? Seven and six, yep, lots of the bottom done. And look, two eight and two eight, because of the center notation, both of those cells have to be two or eight. Five, four, one, nine, we've got three, seven, six. Oh, I was sure that was gonna be really helpful, but it not isn't necessarily. This must be six or seven. This must be three or seven, and this could be three, six or seven. Ah, uh, this, Seven or four has been resolved by that one, so it's a four. Four, six, three, one, five. Two's on the outside, nine, eight. Hmm, okay. Six, eight. One of these two is a six. I thought we were pretty much going to be there by now. Not quite yet. Ah, six here and six here operating on the central box gives us a six in the corner. That's making one of these a six. One of these is a three because of this three. And that is useful because that sorts out the seven three pair up at the top. And um, it's a nice puzzle actually. This is really coming together nicely. You can see um, why Evita got a bit stuck, to be honest. If I'm not absolutely certain, puzzles can work in different ways. I'm not absolutely certain we found the only way to get going, but we certainly found a useful one. Um, these are a two-four pair. Yeah, this has to be two. 
because it's the only place in the row that a two can now go. We've got four, eight pair here. We've got a three, seven pair up here. This is a four, that's all that's left. This is two, eight, nine. So that has to be two, nine, eight. And that's resolved the two, eight pair in row two. And six and eight down there. Three, four, seven, can't do them. Uh, this is either a three or a seven now, as is this. So then we only have four, six, and eight to fill in. Uh, I don't know, no, that's not immediately resolved. This cell is now a naked single. We've got one, five, nine, two, three in the column, eight, seven, six in the row. That must be a four. That resolves the eight, four pair. Um, one, nine, four, five, six, eight. So eight has to be here. That's the last eight we need to do. Six has to be here. Eight, nine, five, seven, three, two. And now we're just finishing off. There we go. I mean, that's that is an interesting. I don't think it's all that hard as a as a classic, but. A nice little sticking point and, and one way through it. If you found something to get unstuck in that middle section that was different from kind of this 437 combination that allowed us to get the three, let us know in the comments because it's always very interesting to see what else is possible. Um, as I say, thank you very much for following. We do have a great classic Sudoku app that's available. Look in the description field if you haven't already got it. Um, do subscribe if you can, sponsor us on Patreon, these are the ways to take the channel forward. And thank you very much for watching the video, hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.